Hey everyone, I'm Megan Olivi here at the UFC Performance Institute in Las Vegas, and I am joined by Darren Till, who will be challenging Tyron Woodley for the welterweight world title at UFC 228. Darren, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. <laughs> so we're here in Vegas. We were talking a little bit off camera about what you think of the city, but what made you come do the end of your camp here at the Performance Institute? Uh, just, just because every camp I've had, uh, like leading up to me fights and that, I've noticed that a big part is recovery. So when you train hard, you know, recovering the right way is, is essential, in my opinion, as I grow older now. So I just thought with the way the facility is, it's got, you know, an octagon ring, it's got huge mats, bags, it's got plunge, steam, sauna, massage, restaurant, it's, it's all in one. It's like everything that a fighter does, a fighter has to go here, there, everywhere. This is all here in one and it's free for fighters, so yeah. it was a no-brainer. Do you feel like you are reaping the benefits even though you've been here a week or two only? Yeah, yeah. I, straight when I got here, I, I had a bit of luck. I, I was able to sleep that night, so my sleeping pattern fell straight in, into plan. And my team's here and my coaches, so nothing's changed from back home. It's just getting used to the heat, and but that's better for a fighter, right, you know. <laughs> so you're sweating more, and I, I'm definitely, after this week, I'm definitely feeling, I'm feeling sharper. I'm lighter than I've ever been before a fight. Now let's talk about weight, because unfortunately now, that's a big storyline for you heading yeah. into this one. You say you're lighter than you've ever been yeah. at this point. What's the plan for the next few weeks heading into this fight in terms of your weight management? Every fight I've ever had, now I've always made weight and I always cut a huge amount of weight. Everyone knows I'm a big welterweight. For example, my last fight, I left it to last minute to cut a lot of weight and I always do it and I always make weight. But this time I want to get my weight lower. So, you know, when I'm cutting them, them last few pounds, kilos, it's already low, I'm, I'm still high on energy. That's, that's the plan. And you've got to travel though for this fight. I mean, your last fight was in your hometown of Liverpool. This one, you're going from Las Vegas to Texas. Yeah. Your first fight in America. Do you have to factor that in at all, or do you feel like that's not even a thing to no, worry about? No, no, stuff like that's at the back of my mind. I just want to train hard, eat right, get me weight low, and then look forward to the fight week shenanigans, you know what I mean? Like, that, that's what I like, and then it's fight day, isn't it? Then after yeah. that, that, that's what I look forward to. Are you looking forward to having your first fight on American soil? Yeah, yeah I am, yeah, yeah. I've never fought here, ever, before MMA, anything, so I'm, I'm pleased to be fighting for the title for my first time in America, yeah. Fighting for the title against Tyron Woodley. We know Tyron has power in his hands, we know he's a really great wrestler, but we don't get to see your ground game a lot, and we know you're very talented in the grappling field as well, so is this where we, we say it? This might go to the canvas and that's where the, the decisions might be made? Tyron's a very strong guy, you know. As much as he's a lot smaller than me, he's so powerful. So if this does go to the ground, I'm, I'm quite confident with my get-ups. And uh, to be honest, I'm just confident in my submission game all around, you know. People don't get to see my ground game because I don't let people take me down in fights. And now it's the pinnacle, the, the, you know, one of the best wrestlers in, in MMA, not just the welterweight division. And, and he's the champion, so we're all gonna see if, if I can withstand the heat. You've got a smile on your face when you talk about the fight itself. Yeah. How excited are you to get in there? Yeah, I can't wait. I, I don't want to, you know, say anything else, but I just love pure violence, just pure <laughs> unfiltered violence. Yeah. Like, And I know Woodley's coming for the same, so one of us will be victorious. That's, that's how I see it. You know, this is scheduled to go five rounds. Yeah. In your mind, do you think it goes all 25? No. <laughs> Either he knocks me out or I knock him out. <laughs> He's got power, I've got power, so let's let's do it. Let's let's use let's use the man. Let's you know every dog has his day and he's had his and I'm the young gun now, so he's gotta try and teach me a lesson and I've gotta teach him a young lesson. What did you feel like you took away from the face off you guys had in Los Angeles? Because us as observers took away the fact that you are massive in comparison to his his size. At the time maybe he didn't give me the respect that he gives me now. I think he went away from that press conference thinking, this kid's here to really take my belt. He's not messing around, his energy's right, everything. So I feel like his whole mindset changed after that press conference, and mine did too. Fire inside just to, to be the champion. That, that's what I've worked for for 15 years now, and no man's gonna take it away from me, no man on this earth. Do you feel like that's been a theme for you these past couple of fights, kind of changing people's minds? Because 
you said Tyron maybe walked away from that press conference with a changed mind. But what about like Stephen Thompson, a guy who's been a veteran and challenged for the belt? Cowboy Cerrone, a guy who said he didn't know who you were. Uh, yeah, I think the fight before Cerrone was the fight to top, break into like the top 20 against Boyan. He was a huge welterweight and then, you know, since then it's been like, oh, he's fighting Cerrone, he's going to get beat, he's just a kid. And then when I beat Cerrone, it's like, oh, well, Cerrone's over the hill. And when Steven accepted the fight, like he was talking to a few guys like, oh, this kid, you know. And whatever people say about the fight with me and Steven, I took one of the best strikers five rounds and just edged out a points decision. So <laughs> he's apparently the best striker in, in the whole of the UFC, not just the division. So. That's, that's for people to stop doubting. What did you personally learn from that fight with Steven? It just matured me more. It just, it was five rounds of just one person making one wrong move. And, and whoever didn't did that was gonna fall short. And, and in the fifth round, he made the wrong move and I, I, I was, I dropped him. But it was five rounds of just, you, you couldn't even make that much of a mistake. And, and it, was, it was a hard, it was probably mentally the, the toughest fight I've ever had. Really? Yeah, because it wasn't about like, punching and getting hit and, and take down and get back to feet. It was about, you know, him trying to catch me out and me trying to catch him out. I was in the building for that fight yeah. and it was an amazing energy. Yeah. The people of Liverpool really look to you as their hero. Yeah. Do you feel like that has sort of prepared you now for what is to come in your future? I mean, you are challenging for the world title. Your life will drastically change once you become champion. Yeah, I, I want to, you know, if, if I am carrying the hopes of the Liverpool people, you know, I, I want to, I do want to inspire young kids and, and I want to be the, the face of MMA for Liverpool, you know, like I want to be that, that guy that's, you know, walking with the torch for everyone and yeah, that, that atmosphere, I will never ever forget that in my life. No one can ever take that away from me and I think we're going to get a bit of the same atmosphere in, in Texas. I think there's a lot of, a lot of people from Liverpool and England and Ireland traveling over, so that's my fan base there going over. Well, that's going to be super fun because that's a fun group to mix with the Texas yeah. crowd. <laughs> and I believe I have some fans in America, you know, I, I haven't been here, I've never fought here, but a lot of guys seem to know me, so for me that's a, I'm appreciative of support like that. So going into this, we're just basically days away now. What's the goal, what's the plan, what's the mindset heading into this fight with Tyron? <laughs> Go and win. Uh, nothing else. I'm not in this to be second best or to say I had the best fight with the, the champ and lost. Going in to win and, and to take what he's got, I want it for me, for myself, and that, that's my only mentality. What would it mean for you to become the UFC's welterweight world champion? 15 years of hard work, physical and mental. So 15 years of all that rolled into one for one moment in Texas, Dallas, to win that UFC belt. So looking forward to this fight, Darren. Best of luck to you in that welterweight world title fight. Thank you very much.